Okie dokie gamers. Welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. Um, we have some things that will be done pretty much immediately today. Uh, it's been like, I, I don't know, like a week since I, or, or more. Uh, I had some, I had some problems, right? Some health problems and some other things that happened. Anyway, I, I had to take a little hiatus from recording this game whatsoever, even streaming. Uh, that's neither here nor there. We have the Necronomicons right there. I've done a whole ton of alchemy. And I mean, a whole ton of alchemy. Like, I've, I've done probably nothing but alchemy for a really long time. I have studied the art of alchemy. Um, meaning I had the wiki page open and I was like researching a bunch of stuff and like memorizing stuff so we already have like i don't have to memorize pretty much anything anymore because you know we have them right here like ready to go it's just a matter of making it right because now the the recipe is already set but in any case um we have the necronomicon for the dude mcdever uh that's gonna happen tomorrow and we need to go talk to a guy called the Gypsy Baron. I know exactly where he is. He is somewhere. He is somewhere right here, near the camp, near the where the fort is. And we're gonna do that after I get the Necronomicon done, because the Necronomicon probably I'm gonna be able to get Snake to give the necklace back. Blah 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 blah. Anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. So, just give me a moment. And here we are. One Necronomicon coming right this way, Monsieur. There we go. Here's your book, Snake. I'm hardly surprised you are a man of extraordinary talents. Plus, you're mortal. Life isn't fair. Eh, hey, hey. Give me that book. Wow, the rituals is more complicated than I expected. I fear, fear into the hearts, a fountain of blood and a convergence of sin. I've never finished this ritual, I'm... I'll... oops. Don't give up, I also have difficult tasks too, I know what you're going through. You just need to believe in yourself, everything is in your hands. You're a dangerous and scrupulous rogue. Who else could perform this ritual, if not you? You're right. I hate it when someone's right. Ah, <laughs> uh, a task for a task for me? But in this case, it seems I could use a little help. A favor for a favor, you know. Okay. Okay. Um. About the ritual. Okay. How can I help? I'd like to help you. I've got a feeling I'll need you to return the favor. Sounds reasonable to me. First of all, we need to prepare for the ritual. We need this place looking as scary as my old orphanage. If you say so. This place should have my followers trembling in terror. But look. But look who I am talking to, huh? Up in your church, you've done some great decorating. But this one should be darker. And without all the crosses. Crosses bring back bad memories to me. Oh, one other thing. For the ritual, we need to have a fountain of blood. Better make two, just to be sure. Okay, I'll try. Back home, we have a whole holiday for scary things. Halloween. I was good at this kind of decorations. I'll figure something out. Or you. So... We'll need this place to have... Okay, 20. 20 pentagrams. Okay, so about a necklace leave, okay? I need an endless book. I need it for a ritual. Get back uh, to get back to my love. I understand you're quite... I understand you quite well, perhaps even more than you can imagine. This book is the only thing I have from my childhood. We weren't allowed to have our own possessions at the orphanage. Um, when they pulled me from the burning house, I was gripping at my I was gripping in my hands. This book means a lot to me. Book pages never end. I read down everything in this notebook, and a lot of pages were already filled up when I started. 
I always wonder what those notes are about. How happy were the people who wrote them? You know what? If you succeed, my ritual did not book. Okay, sure. Okay. Okay. Boing. So, so, do I have? A oh, here we go. There they are. Crucified skeleton on the wall. Okay. <laughs> or just crucified skeleton. Blood fountain. I have those already. Okay. All right. All of this is easy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get these done, and I'll uh, back to you when I when I have this place as spooky as it can. Okay, here we are, Gypsy King. I have come to bargain, or something. Gypsy Bear, I'm sorry. About Esmeralda, can you tell me about your sister, Esmeralda? Um, where is she now? Hmm, your Inquisitor's friend. You know, I'll tell you about my sister. But on one condition. The Inquisitor's guards grabbed one of our friends. She's still waiting for her trial, so she might still be released. Ask your friend Lord Inquisitor to release her, to release her and I'll tell you everything I know. He's not my friend, but I'll try to help. Yeah, I... Uh, I really didn't know that that was gonna be the requisite I okay I guess it's going to be like well it is today maybe I can do that like right now and catch him on the way maybe okay here it goes nothing oh inquisitor could you please not burn a certain someone to the stake for the amusement of thousands pretty please so that I make progress on my journey Look at a tent. Um, I didn't even know that was a, an option, but sure, I'll talk to him about that. Good. The people are going to love this. You'll probably earn a lot of money. Yes, Monsignor. You know, at first I thought you were kind of shady. Like, you might be a problem. I had a strange feeling that you didn't belong here. But now it seems like you're planning just fine. You do what you've been asked to do. And profit means everything to you. I believe there's a place for a person like you in our, f in our future world. In the world we're going to build in the town. The world of pure faith. Ha! Huh. One day. One day. The audience is gathering. Do your part! Well, and I'll do mine. Wait, what? what? What part? Oh, I didn't bring anything. I didn't... Oh, never mind. Okay. That's, that's okay. Anyway. Hey, yo, dude. Can you, like... Yeah, can I ask you to release? It's... It is not in my rules to release someone. But this time I'll make an exception. Her friends have been making too much of a ruckus outside of my headquarters. There we go. Hey, done. Here we go. Easy. Just like that. And yeah, I will be making profit out of that too, because, you know, profit is profit. Okie dokie, early in the morning, come in to deliver the good news. Your friend is free. I talked to the Lord... You, I talked to the Lord Inquisitor. Your friend's free. I was right. He is your friend. So you're an important man around here. Sure, let's go with that. So tell me about Esmeralda. Where's your sister? Probably she's far, far away. They put her on a ship off the... Sorry. They put her on a ship of the dead many years ago. But she... But she had a child, didn't she? Yes, a daughter. Once she was... Once she was a blessing to me, but now she's my shame. But she's alive. Yeah, she's alive, but she betrayed her own people. She even betrayed the memory of her mother. What did she do? She told her mother's last... She sold her mother's last gift. Disowned our legacy. And for what? Okay, so Esmeralda is the girl at the bar. For lust. For impertinence. In the town, she's known as Miss Charm. Exactly. I, I, I connected that much. We haven't spoken uh, her real name. 
for many years. Okay. So, now... Nah, whoops. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't take damage, because... What? You know what I mean? <laughs> that was a complete ass accident, I swear. Who wants to know is the, um, the, the dude, the, the, the man, the astrologian. He needs to know that. He wants to. So now we know. Here we go. Smeralda's child. Smeralda had a... Okay. My daughter? Where are they now? Smeralda died many years ago, but her daughter is alive and well. I think you might uh, even have heard about her. Her name is Miss Charm. Unbelievable. She's very talented. I saw her perform once. Aw, he cried. Oh, I'm afraid she'll never accept me. I left her mother before she was born. But I didn't know. I knew that... I I knew that it would break Smeralda's heart, but it was all in the name of science. What a fool am I. Young man, you must test these waters for me. Speak with her. Find out what my chances are. Sure. Do you promise to tell me where the golden angle is if I can reunite you with your daughter? Definitely. I'll be so happy. Okay. About the three parts of the barrel. Okay, sure thing. All right, let's get going. Much to do, very little time. Okay, I need... I saw how to create a potion of speed. I'm gonna be honest. I wanna know how good it is. Because if it's, like, really good, I'm gonna be hopped on speed 24-7 in this game. I absolutely hate walking from A to B. I'm not kidding. If there was, like, a, tele a teleportation... Like, on the man thing, I would be using it so fast. You have no idea. All right, today's the day. Just need a little bit of blood. And uh, I, I pretty much I have everything. I've done everything. It's, it's fully decorated. I don't know if the fountain runs out of blood or if it's like a perpetual motion or something. But I, I did that one. And there we go. There we go. Exactly 20. Exactly what he asked for. Here we go, sir. Um, about the ritual. This place is scary. So, what do you think of the place? I'm impressed, especially this pumpkin head. <laughs> what a sick mind you have. <laughs> uh, you know, we modern people, we got a sick mind. Got the place checked, and now I just need the voted followers. Oh, and I also need a damask sword. Uh, How's that gonna help? Let's see. Just forge one. Or buy one. At the mountain fort. Hell no. Okay. Leave. If I knew, I would have made one already. I could have made a, a Damask one. 20 times over by now. Anyway. Unlock it so I can actually make it. <laughs> Alright, so to get myself a Damask sword, I needed gold and I... Don't know how to get gold. Like for from mining iron, it's like pretty much impossible. Uh, and then I learned that there's a, like a place in the dungeon. I didn't feel like exploring the whole dungeon now just to find whatever is it that you get gold from. Then apparently I can get from this fish right here, the golden crucian. I um I got 22 anchovy because apparently this fish can only get caught if you have anchovies as bait and I'm from the 22 anchovy I managed to fish four now let's see if <laughs> you know uh, there is sturgeon whoa, whoa, whoa. chill chill yo 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 golden crucian let's see what happens delay him gold nugget okay here we go so it wasn't a total waste of time. I'm very happy with this. Yeah, this, this is good. This is good. To make one gold ingot, I need two gold nuggets. 
And I'm going to need one gold bar. Right? Just one. Wait. Okay, I'm going to need a gold bar to make gold jewelry to be able to make this. Okay, that's easy enough. Oh, but the diamond, though. Ooh, the diamond, though. Where am I going to get diamond? Well, that's a, that's a problem for future me. Alright, it seems that my efforts were a little bit um, futile, because it seems that I can only find diamonds on the dungeon. Let's see, levels 8, 11, 13, and 15. And then... There's something or other that I just... It's a spoiler for me. It's called the Souls Room, whatever that is. Uh, <coughs> well, I guess I know what I have to do. Uh, okay, so I'm not in the higher levels of the dungeon yet. But this looks like gold, doesn't it? So... Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of gold, actually. That is a lot of gold. Right, I killed the mobs. The I killed the mobs that were around this area right here, and I found this. This looks like a this looks like a, a diamond deposit, doesn't it? So, hmm, and okay, four of them. Okay, that's good. No, that's good. Because I I was thinking, oh, maybe the game is just gonna like ah, it's gonna give me one, or maybe ah, it's gonna give me two. But I am actually happy with four of them. And boom, there we go. Damask sword with gem. Now we're set. That's exactly what he asked for, right? Yeah, get a damask sword. Uh, my only options are these ones, so there we go, we have it. Um, and uh, now it's just a matter of waiting. I have still three diamonds left, I still have gold left, and I still have... No, I don't actually, because it costs all of it. But I can make more, so I can probably get the church upgraded again to have one of those fancy windows. All right, so I clicked on uh, I click on the, I clicked on one of the the options for the the, the priest guy here because he had because uh, uh, I completely forgot I wasn't even recording. Then I remember, oh my god, yeah, I gotta record this. It, this is this is like a completely different day, a completely different recording session. So. Uh, except the silk for the benches, I bought that from my uh, friend merchant. Yep. Ah, those merchants. Personally, I banished them from the kingdom. A whole lot of them. They are truly the distributors of sin. Merchants, actors, doctors. What is wrong with this guy? The church already provides everything they offer, only holy and more righteous. Alright, I've seen enough. I'd say this church is ready to become a cathedral. Oh. What do you mean? I didn't finish this, though. But you still need to make a statue of me. Yeah, okay. Certainly, Your Highness. I mean, I don't think it's ready to become a cathedral. Like, there's ways, there's so much I haven't done yet. Like, literally, it's only holy because of the candles. Yeah, it's only holy because of the candles, so I, I don't know. Um. So, I'm assuming... Well, maybe he's just will up upgraded for me, or maybe I can... No, whatever. I have this entire site to do, so I don't have to worry too much about it. I do, however, want to get rid of these things right here. I don't know exactly what do I need for this body, for example. Because if, if I already removed an organ, I cannot do that again. There's like a, there's like a particular type of powder and potion that I can do that increases the body quality. Maybe I could do that. I could do that to all of them. I think. And I'm just I'm just waiting for the time to pass because I need to get here to get the Damascus sword to the guy. So that then I can get the necklace for the girl from this day. So pretty much I'm gonna have to wait an entire other cycle to get this done. So I'm, I'm just gonna get that ball rolling. I'm gonna put some carrots in here. I'm gonna see if the donkey brings me a few bodies that I can work on. In any case, I'll be back when I have some progress. Okay, today's the day. I have the Damascus sword. I can finally help Schnecky. Can Schnecky to his ritual or whatever. Here we go, my buddy. I uh, need to be not equipped with it. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Here's your sword. That's a nice sword. Well, you're welcome. And your timing is perfect. Just kidding. I've been following you for a while. <laughs> 
And yes, I'm aware you have the sword. Ooh, who's that? These are my followers. They have been gathered here to behold my power. Is that real blood? This place looks scary. Is he gonna sacrifice me because I'm immortal? I'm not sure this was a good idea. Yeah, I think I might be right. So I need to kill you with this sword and then you shall return to life once more. <laughs> so you're scamming them. You're literally scamming them, aren't you? How does Snake do it? He must be so powerful. We should worship him. I, f I knew it. I knew it. It's so dumb. Blah, blah, blah. I disagree. Boo. Behold my power over life and death. They are merely words to me. Yep. Follow me and be mortal. He's scamming them. Alright, fucking stab me already. Alright. Yeah. So, so we would seem. I need to get back. Yeah, I know. So we would seem. He's hustling. And that is why they... What? And that is why they lied... You. But I never lie... You? What? After the dark ritual, our glorious conquest will commence. There he is. He's alive. He's immortal. Behold, my first disciple. Now go back home and wait for my orders. My life will never be the same. <laughs> yeah, because you're stupid. <laughs> I mean, like the way you did the whole death scene. I, mean, I didn't think I had a choice, my guy. It was so dramatic. Are we done? Sure. A little time for the final preparations. But I'm or, I'm your man. Your thing. Now give me all of your information. I'm looking for this stuff. That was very easy. I actually didn't search for them. Just spent an evening in the town. Uh, everything was uh, in the rumors. The Mirror of Pride, everyone knows that the bishop carries it everywhere. People say the mirror helps him talk to his boss. <laughs> An eternal burning coal, the Inquisitor's guard told me this that's his master most precious artifact. He carries it around with him in his pocket. It's burning him at all times. That's why he's always so angry. A salty fork. Your friend, the merchant, has one of those. It's weird. Uh, we normally just use spoons uh, in town. Or our hands. Apparently, it helps him eat a lot. Because it adds flavor. Okay. Thanks, Nick. I hate politeness. And... About the necklace. Leave. About the ritual. Leave. The endless notebook. Uh... I... I am. Do, do I have to do this more times? Is that what you want? Let me do it more times? Oh, come on. But... Come... come. He, I did all that just for the information? I thought he was gonna give me this stuff for... Yeah, the necklace and all that? I guess I need this. Take the endless notebook. So, plus, whatever. Ugh... <sighs> All right, that happened so suddenly, I didn't have time to record that. My, my bad. The thing is, apparently there's a vampire hunter after the rogue guy now, and he needs my help to set up a, a trap. Because apparently the vampire guy wants to kill the rogue dude and burn down my church because of uh, something or other. Uh, because Oh yeah, because the, the followers of, of this guy now were chatty and... And they... There he is. Oh, wait. Anyway. And now he needs my help. Alright, what do you need? A wooden plank? No. Because I asked... No, you didn't. Okay, whatever. Just bring... Hurry up. A wooden plank. Fine. Here we go. Your wooden plank, sir. There it is. Great. Everything's ready. You're lucky he's not here yet. Just wait. Ah, oh, no. How many days? How long did you wait? Just a little longer. So he said he left a distraction at the brothel for the guy. They sure is coming. Yes, we just need to be patient. No human can spend this much time in a brothel. Are you sure about that? Well, maybe he's not human. Yeah. 
I'm really tired and I need to eat something. Everything is at stake, just get gone. Come in, get ready. I want to get this chance. Oh, it's that's Gerard of Rivia? Love side quests. Yeah, me too. Push! It's gone, and my donkey's here too. You've killed a vampire hunter. In life, there's no side quests. True. Ha, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. True squeezy, yes. Great. Hunter. Aha. Uh -huh. Undefeated war. Ha. How nice of him to bring his medallion. Now we can get into the deepest part of the dungeon. I didn't even need any of that. I didn't even know, know I needed that. What's next? Get rid of the body and clear the path. Meet me near the dungeon entrance. I have a final task for you. Alright, we're good. Good term, I guess. Alright. I'll clear the road in due time. Not right now. Uh, I have a body to take care of. Buffet. Yes. There we go. Seems everything's ready. Okay. Let him know. I'm looking, to, and it's fine. Uh, everything's ready. Let's see it. Hope it's good money, by the way. I burned the bitch. Oh, look at the peasants. Yes, eat my goods. Beer washes away all <laughs> sins. Juicy burger, sweet as holy ecstasy. I'll take two, sure. It's the best burning I've ever been to. Hmm, that's tasty. Smoky meat. <laughs> Don't ask where the meat come from, though. <laughs> uh, you know. Don't ask where the graveyard keeper gets his fresh meat from. The town will be uh, talking for a month about this today's burning. Whenever you're ready, we should put on a repeat performance. Just get your tent ready and we'll be in business. You earn 33 silver coins selling beer and burgers. They're they're taking my stuff away! Stop it! Mm. Okay, I'm looking for the eternal burning coal. I need to... I needed to reunite with my family. Family? I had a family, but they were all burned. My wife and my son burned alive in my house! My house was in the... Yeah, the Great Blast. My son was so young, even couldn't we couldn't find his remains, but I found this coal among the ashes, and it's been burning ever since, fueling my anger. I'm sure the explosion was caused by a witch coven or a cultist. I found the Inquisition to avenge all evil. Okay, I can't get, I can't give it to you. I've, I've burned them all. Maybe one day, with your help, but not before. Okay, sure. Uh, what are the, yeah. Monsignor, do you think the guards here to which, uh, sorry, guards here on the witch hill are ready, really necessary? I'm not sure, but the town is full of rumors. Someone's been seeking forbidden knowledge. Damn heretics. Last time the dark rituals here in the mountain uh, ended in a great blast. Right. Be too careful. Can't look after the hill. I'll let you know if anyone come by. Your guard ambush is obvious from a mile away. Hmm, you're right. But you're worthy of this sacred trust? I can prove him loyal, I am already, you know? I'm sure I can show you that I can be trusted uh, well enough to look after the Witch Hill. Indeed, perhaps one day I'll embrace you as an Inquisitor apprentice. Meanwhile, I'll wait your, for your reports. Good. Good. Alright, we're, we're getting... We're gumming up the ladder. Now they're not there anymore. Good, I can inspect the thing at some other point. Anyway, I have uh, the necessary stuff. I'm just gonna keep shoving them in there for the next one. They're not gonna get stale or anything. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess he doesn't have a... Yeah, he doesn't have a potion. Hunter's Medallion. Yeah, he doesn't have a potion that... <laughs> that... Um, he doesn't have a potion that prevents him from dying from falling boulder. So, um, yeah... Oops, get that. Enter. Put him in the table for now. This guy's probably ready and done. Yeah, empty table. Let's check his body. What's up with it? Oh, ooh, take body. Okay, put it in here. We're gonna need a lot of work for this one, eh? Yeah, okay. So, gold injection. Craft. 
In fact, I could put him back on the table and just put some glue and it's going to be like a, a much stronger body. In any case, um, I might turn Gerald of Rivia into a... Or maybe I should just bury him. I don't know. In, in anyway, I can bury him now and if I want to try to like embalm him later, I can. Buried 50 bodies. Yep, I'm that good. I'm that good. Okay, so... Uh, first things first, I have buried the body of, you know, Gerald of Rivia in this place. It, it was very damaged, but I managed to recover most of it with, like, ingredients and, you know, glue and stuff like that. But I also discovered that I can... That I can, um... Add body parts that have higher quality. For example, his heart was damaged, so I could potentially grab a, a heart that's healthy and place it back in. That's what I... At least I think. So I'm gonna keep fiddling with this body and see what what I can do. Because even after trying to recover most of it with chemicals, it wasn't enough. Uh, also, I have my graveyard to 200. Meaning, oh, I also have this, the gold star stuff. So let's go do all that. Grab all these three and give it to him. Here we go. Uh, I could could the graveyard be any better? I'm looking for certain mirror. Uh, well, we'll see. The graveyard is indeed well maintained. I can see uh, all the love you put into it. Have you had any problems with the Inquisition? Ghosts? Witches? I've had some problems. You know, that was a silly question. You're not in a... You're not in an Inquisition cell, so everything must be alright. Why do we even build this stupid uh, ship of the dead? And all the talk about the Walking Dead, I'm sure they're just stories. Then the money could go to the church, not that stupid shipyard. Very interesting. Okay. I'm looking for a certain mirror. About the cathedral. Yes. Here they are. Your Holiness. I've finished your statues. I think the one for the graveyard is best. Oh. All the... They all look great. Do I really have so, such mangly cheekbones? Sure. Let's put it right here in front of the entrance. Okay. It's magnificent. Uh, we can upgrade the church to a cathedral now. Then let's do it. Yep. Alright. Good. It's all... It's tall enough to see the town walls. And there is also no sign of relief for the town's water shortage. Perfect. Oh, I love my job. So you're going to need to be an aristocrat now, so you can stand with me at the great ceremony as my peer. Oh, I think I've been over this. No one, ex no one, no one will accept you. No, this time it's important. We need someone who is close enough to the royal court to attend our ceremony. So we're clear, right? You need to get somebody... Oh, come on. Also, I said we need someone important at your ceremony. I couldn't find anybody. Maybe you could talk to your friend, Lord Inquisitor. Maybe. Not my friend. Come on, don't be shy. All right. Great. So, aristocrat papers and accept the invitation from someone important. Sure. I'll prepare my speech. Sure. Um, I'm looking for a certain mirror. Your Holiness, I believe you, uh, you have a mirror of pride. I need it. In fact, my whole life depends on it. Ah, my precious mirror. How many speeches have I rehearsed as I looked into it? That mirror helped me understand how important appearances are to your career. I'm glorious because of this mirror. I've had it since my childhood. From rags to riches. Haha, <laughs> this mirror had... This mirror gave me the confidence to accomplish all my dreams. Maybe at this point of my greatness, I don't even need it anymore. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll give it to you, once I don't need any more proof. <sighs> Alright. Uh, aristocrat. 12 gold coins. Okay, it's not that bad. Not that bad. I thought it was gonna be like... Some major pain in the ass, but it's it's not that bad. All right, ceremony. Monsignor, can I ask you for a favor? I'm listening. Could you attend a big ceremony at my cathedral? 
Together with Bishop, we'll pray for water to return to the town. Meh. Nah, I have no time for such nonsense. But we need someone important to attend. Try to find someone from the royal court. How do I do that? How do I do that? Okay, can I ask her anything? Let's see. I found out about your necklace. Okay. Nick told me that he didn't have your necklace anymore. That crook, so you can't help this poor woman after all. Equally, actually, he told me uh, where your necklace is. I'll try and get it back for you. Did he told me that? Oh, that's sweet. Speaking of sweet things, have you ever had a whiff of Miss Chang's perfume? No. Yes, yeah, most good. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Even you like it. I definitely need a vial. Can you talk to her and get one? Why can't you ask her? Well, I don't know why, but she doesn't like me. She's especially jealous of my friendship with Alyssa. Okay. Uh, I'll try to get you some perfume. You could even try to make some myself. Okay. And then we have, have some questions. One more questions. All right. About her father need 30, so I'm gonna have to do the perfume and all that. Okay, sure. So Miss Jane is her, I'm assuming. You are. Yeah. You better talk with my husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About your perfume. Miss Jane, could you give me a vial of your perfume? It's good, isn't it? But I'm tired. But I am tired of it. I'm going to make a new one. I still have a small vial of the old stuff. I could give it to you, but first I need a little help. Take this food to my sister. She lives in the middle of a Oh. Really? And on 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 the way back, catch a dozen of frogs for me. I'll need them for my new perfume. Oh. A dozen frogs? Ah, no. <laughs> I heard about the last witch burning. Sounds like it's quite an event. I think it's absolutely barbaric, but I but I who am I to judge? In the old days, our people arranged fights to death just for entertainment. I don't support the burning. For me, it's just a way to sell beer. People have told me that you serve better beer than I do, but I don't believe them. It's actually pretty good. I can bring you some. And then bring him beer. Gold star. Right. Alright, took me a while because I was busy doing other things, but I brought him his beer. Well... Let's see. Now I'm gonna have uneven beer, so you know I cannot even use these for the for the witch burning. But anyways, give him. I thunder! It's great. You're a fine brewer indeed. You know what? Go upstairs and take the scroll from my table. It's my secret project, honey beer. I think you might be able to do it. Honey beer? So you mean like a uh, mead? Upstairs I go. Excuse me. Oh ho ho. Okay, is there anything else I can get from here? It's like, it's, what was this? Is it here? No. Is it there? No. Is it here? Nope. Uh. Well, probably on his table, right? Fair enough. Here we go. Recipe: special beer. Okay. Okay. Use a mug of mead. I have a lot of honey that I didn't use for anything yet, I don't think. Right, before I forget and just pass this entire episode without even touching this NPC, we gotta we gotta help her. A bird friend told me that you have a garden, is that true? I mean I suppose so, yeah. Would you consider helping an old woman? Perhaps. All I ever do around here is help everybody. Ah, eh, fine. What do you want me to bring to you? Pumpkin. A silver star pumpkin. And in return, I'll teach you how to make pumpkin soup. Alright. Sure thing. With that said, I do have your... To give a potion of health? I mean, sure, whatever. Let's give you the cauldron first. Good. Now I need the ingredients. Sure. Here's that one. Here's that one. Good. Now let's see how it works. Let me check it for. Let me check if it's ready. Good. 
Oh, now I remember. I'm Clotho. Oh, it was nice being a princess. <laughs> I made too much. Here's an extra potion for you. Alright, sure, thank you. Okay, and I'm back. So, what do you need from old Clotho? You got some good stuff, you know? You won't find potions this good anywhere anywhere these days. If you say so, Clotho. Now, okay, the pumpkin. Okay, give the food. This is from your sister. There's so much... There's, there's no such thing as a good apple. I hate apples. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need your help. Uh, never mind. Pumpkin first. Okay. And what do you sell? The golden apple. Oh, so I can buy the golden apple from you. I don't have to... Oh, okay. And you have frogs. I, I need frogs. Oh, three... Three apple. Oh, nice. Bushberry. Oh. Alcohol. Oh, she just sells everything, huh? Balsamic solution. Yeah, she just sells everything. Okay, well, if I ever need more, I know exactly where to come get them. Great. Soup is perfect dish. You just wait until all your teeth fall out. Haha, <laughs> you know. Bro. Cabbage soup, pumpkin soup, vegetable soup. Okay, cool. And I need your help. What was the help that I needed from her then? I don't remember. Is there's nothing? Sure. I guess there's nothing. Alchemy, right? Oh yeah, I didn't learn that, did I? Yeah, alchemy recipe, use, what's that? Great black paint. Ah, here we go. Nice. But didn't I already knew that? Because I made a bunch of black paint, didn't I? Eh, whatever. Nice. Back to the dead horse. Here's your frogs. I don't know, she sounds like a witch to me, you know? Why would you need so many frogs for? Anyway, give the frogs. The food has been delivered. There we go. Give me the perfume. Thank you. Um... I mean, I know I could have made some, but I... Well, technically, I don't know how to. Crafted a church workbench. Alright, sure. But anyway, yeah, now I have it, I complete it, now she has, like, I'm, I mean, good terms with her, whatever that means. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, anyway. Um, husband. Nothing new from him? Alright. Alright, I have everything. I made myself a good sword, I have that thing, the perfume, let's see, where does this lead? Yeah, I have some perfume for you. Here you go, a vial of perfume. Ah, let me kiss you. I am so happy. Haha. Ha. You're welcome. I'll, um, okay. I'll worry to my concert at the Royal Palace. Finally, I will reach the pinnacle of my career. So many things still remain to be repaired. By my sins, you're so sweet to me. Maybe you can help me a little bit more. Maybe. I need a romantic story for the opening of the concert. May you think of something? I'm a bad writer myself, and I don't want something trivial. Hmm, I think I know where I can get a good story for you. You're the kind of man I could fall in love with. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, get a uh, gold star story. No, well, it's not that difficult. All right, girl, here we go. There's your story. It's a love story. I hope it'll get the audience into the right mood. What would I ever do without you? Uh, probably nothing. You're useless without me. Seems like I am irreplaceable. Oh, yeah. By the way, do you know the local farmer? Uh, kind of, yeah. Good, talk to him. Man to man. <laughs> I need his daughter, Alyssa, to accompany me to the royal concert. She's so good. So beautiful. Maybe some nobleman will appreciate her beauty. Okay. Even the king himself, perhaps. The poor girl is mute. But that can't be a big advantage for her. What's the problem? It's not a big deal. It's just need her father to formally grant her permission so she can travel with me to the town. Okay. Before I do any of that, he doesn't approve of her musical interest. Maybe uh, you'll be able to convince him. Maybe. Uh, yeah, okay. But in, in any case, I need this. Some questions. No. About your father. This charm you see, uh, you seem so lonely. You have a family. My dear friend, you're so kind to me. It seems like you're the only one who talks to me like I'm a person. I feel so lonely. Alone in this crowd of admirers. 
It's my curse. My mother died. I messed up my relationship with my relatives. All my life, I've been looking for a charming prince, but I'm cursed. It's not a joke. My mom told me that her necklace would help me find love, and I sold it. I may know who your father is. My father is a dishonorable, deceitful man. He left my mom, and she never got over it. He did nothing. He did nothing good for me. I don't care who he is. Okay. Then Elisa's papers and all that good stuff. Sure. And I think I know who it is. It's the father that lives uh, in the farm below, right? The guy that has the windmill. I'm here to ask you permission to let your daughter go to the town with Miss Charm. It's a great opportunity for her. And you're here, here. We have a lot of work to do on the farm. Besides, that's... I don't trust this actress. Oh, here she comes. She literally spent too much time helping at the tavern. I don't like it. Hey. You want to help Elisa? Yeah. Hmm. Mm, I like I like when she plays. I want to help too. If you help my uncle fix the mill, here we go. The father will be so happy. I'll ask about Elisa again. Um, and I bet he'll let her have go. Okay, thank you. I'll talk to your uncle. All right, so I've been for the longest time thinking about that windmill up top. I guess everything's just fallen into place. I love this. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to fix the mill. Do you know what the mill needs for repairs? You're welcome to give it a shot. I tried to fix it myself, but I only made things worse. I have this manual thing, but it's in Latin. Oh my. Uh, and back home, we blame Ikea. Uh, it's, it says we need stone and steel parts. Okay, let's see the instructions. Uh, where's the last page? Um, there weren't any pictures on it. I thought it was, wasn't important. And the paper was so soft. I see, geometry isn't really my strong suit. I think I needed an astrologer's help. Sure. Did he give it to me? Yeah. All right, sorry, I forgot about this. Uh, uh, what's my last task? Now that we, we have a hunter's medallion, it's all coming together for me. You see, I can help you open the gate to the 11th level. I need you to go deeper and bring me a golden apple. Okay. That is the last thing I need you for the ritual. The golden apple. Right. Right, I, I don't know why I didn't click on that for like, you know. I don't, I don't know why I didn't click that right away, but apparently that's what I need to do. So, I'm gonna spend my resources, just make myself a, another Damascus sword, so I, you know, deal some actual damage while in there, and then... <clears throat> we'll see about this golden apple. Okay, uh, many cycles have passed. I am still getting money and all of that, making potions. I'm pretty much ready to go to the dungeon with a bunch of potions and food. And in any case, let's talk to this guy at least and see what he has to say about Miss Charm. Uh, and that too, yeah. Tell him about Miss Charm first. Well, I told her I might, uh, I might know who her father is. How did she take it? Let's say she wasn't excited. She told me that you'll never try to find her. You left her mother. It's all true. Still, maybe I can somehow earn her forgiveness. If I find out anything, you'll be the first person to know. Okay. Thank you, young man. You're so kind. Help the astrologer find a way to earn Miss Charm's forgiveness. Okay. Um... First, this one. Uh, calculations for the meal. You're good at calculating angles stuff, right? Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. I'm not sure. <laughs> Take the calculation. There we go. About the barrel. You promised me to tell me the items I'm looking for. I think I saw a necklace with blood sapphire. Uh, Esmeralda has one. She found it lying on a on the ground, the morning after the Great Blast. I think she gave it to her daughter. Maybe lots of rocks and other strange things were scattered around Witch Hill after that blast. There were a lot of fires and a lot of destruction. I never saw my friend, the Graveyard Keeper, after that night. But like Esmeralda, I found something strange. 
a measuring instrument near the archaeological dig site. I think it may be our golden angle. Where is it now? It left it in a mountain fort with my other belongings. We left the, com the camp in a hurry. I think it should still be there. I doubt anyone would brazen enough to break the seal of the Royal University. Alright. I'm gonna shove this character into the dungeon and see if I can find a golden apple. And you know what? I'm gonna do that on my own time. This is pretty good. In the next episode, we're gonna check out the, the mill. We're gonna check out the golden apple, the hip cup grass, and all of that good stuff. But until then, this is where I'm gonna be leaving you. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's the bread and butter of the channel. It lets me know that, you know, you've been enjoying watching this. Even if you've just been watching this as your background noise, it's helping more than you can imagine. In any case, thank you so much. And hopefully, I'll be seeing you, beautiful you, in the next one. Bye-bye.